the name of the law. We bring you another of the thrilling stories in this exciting series, taken from actual police case files. The story begins on a pier in Los Angeles, California. Stand by, please. Back of the rail, please. Give the people a chance to get off. Can I take Julie on the boat, officer? His father's returning to China, and I want Sorry, to... Sorry, be... madam. You can't board until all the passengers have cleared the customs. Hey, you! Stand back in the rail there. Stand in line until your baggage is stamped. Stand in line. Where do I go, officer? I must get to Los Angeles immediately. Let me have your baggage checked first, ma'am. Oh, the red tape. You have to go through here. All right, next, please. This is my trunk, officer. It's open. All right. Oh, this is strange. May I see your passport, please? Why, certainly. Yes. Maria Wint, Shanghai, China. Is anything wrong? Uh, I don't know, Miss Wint, but I'll have to ask you to come along to the customs office. Is there a mistake on my passport? No. Your papers appear to be in order, but your trunk is constructed very oddly. I'll have to bring it in. Oh. Uh, Brogan. Brogan, bring this trunk into the office. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. And you come with me, please. All right. Set it down right there, Brogan. Yes, sir. Uh, now get Chief Powers, please. All right, sir. Sit down, miss. We have to wait for Mr. Powers. Mr. Powers? Who is he? Head customs man of this. Oh, there he is now. Hello, Michael. Brogan said you wanted me. Yes. Uh, this is Miss Wint, Chief. Here's her passport. How do you do? How do you do? It's about her trunk. Irregular construction. All the drawers have corners cut off, and I thought you'd want to examine it yourself. Yes, yes. Hmm. That's it? Yeah, that's it. It does look unusual. Where'd you get this trunk, Miss Wendt? Where? In a shop in China, Shanghai. Is there anything the matter with it? I don't know yet. As soon as I get all these drawers out, I'll see. Yeah. I'll just reach in here and... Hmm. There is something there. Feel there, Michael. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Seems like some cloth tacked onto the back. Shall I pull it off? By all means. Gosh, Chief, look. Ooh, bags, dozens of them. The hunch is right, Michael. Good heavens, what are those? Let me see. Those, Miss Wint, are sacks of narcotics, or I don't know my business. Narcotics? Heroin. Worth $100,000 if it's worth a penny. How did they get there? I, I can't imagine how it all... That's what we're going to find out, Miss Wint, and until we do, we'll have to... That is, you'll have Oh. She's fainted, Chief. Right. Get a doctor. Hurry. She's not fooling you, is she, Doctor? No, no fear of that. Miss Wind is a very sick woman, and she knows it. Well, on your advice, I assigned her to a hotel instead of keeping her here in our house of detention. How long before she'll be well, Doctor? Well, I can't say. In her condition... Well, there's no way of telling when she may be strong enough to leave. Is she strong enough to be questioned? Chief Powers, Miss Wind is very ill. She's emotionally upset. If you submit her to a rigid examination, she may faint again. Well, let's go into her room. I want to ask her a few questions. I don't advise it, Chief. Yes, yes, I know, but I've got to solve this smuggling. All right. This is her room, isn't it? Yeah, 921. The ones on either side, 923 and 919, are occupied by Inspectors Riley and Graham. You don't take any chances, do you? Not if we can help it. Come on. How is she? All right, I guess. She's been asleep. No, I'm not asleep. Oh, Miss Wendt, you're awake. Feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'd like to ask you a few questions, we may. I, I'll help you all I can. Miss Wendt, you told us earlier that you don't know where those sacks of heaven come from. Is that right? Yes. Are you here on business, Miss Wendt, or a pleasure? I was commissioned to bring a patient back to Shanghai. I'm a nurse at the Pollen Hospital in China. What's his name? Whose name? A patient. Where does he live? It's a woman. Mrs. Enders is her name. I, I'm supposed to meet her in this hotel. Now, Michael, call the desk and get Mrs. Enders' room. I want to speak to her now. Okay. You uh, Hello. bought your trunk abroad, didn't you? In China. And you don't know how that batch of narcotics got in there? Absolutely not. Is Mrs. Enders on the phone? No, Chief, she's not registered here. We have no reservation for her either. Hmm. That makes it a little more confusing, doesn't it? Confusing? What do you mean by that? You see, if you're an innocent dupe of a smuggling ring, we can't let you go until... 
Well, until we're convinced that you're innocent. But I am innocent, I tell you. I don't know anything about that, that contraband. I don't think you ought to continue, Chief. All right, Doctor. We're leaving now, Miss Wendt, but we'll be back later. Come on, Michael and Miss Woodcock. Will you come here in a moment, please? Certainly. I want to talk to you outside. What is it, Chief Powers? Riley and Graham are in adjoining rooms. If you have to leave the room for even a moment, be sure the door is locked and be sure you tell them that you're leaving. I can't make this woman out yet. She's guilty. She's a great actress. And, well, I'm going to uncover the ring that she's working with if it's the last thing I do. Come on, Michael. Our work starts now. Where to, Chief? Headquarters. <laughs> See those receipts again, Michael. Here they are, Chief. Hmm. Postal receipts made out to Maria Wint. For letters from Shanghai mailed to... What is this name, anyhow? Let's see. Looks like... Rothelholz Brandstetter. Palace Hotel, Naples, Italy. Hmm. What'd you say you found these? In a suitcase. Ever hear of this man, Brandstetter? No. No record either. I just checked that. Well, let's see how our friend Miss Wynn is feeling today. She ought to be able to tell us who he is and what she mailed to him. She ought to, but will she? Well, come on. We'll find that out soon enough. Did you find anything else in her baggage? Oh, just some papers that seemed pretty harmless. Oh, uh, say, Chief, I did learn something that may be interesting. What's that? Her father is European and her mother's Chinese. Hmm. She does look kind of oriental, doesn't she? Uh, she sure does. You know, I thought she was Chinese, but I couldn't figure out that name. Uh, there's the hotel. Oh, yeah. please. Going up. We get off here, Chief. Right. Well, uh, tell me, did she ask for Mrs. Enders? No, it was another name, but it sure sounded like Enders. Hmm. Had me frightened for a minute. Uh, I said I thought she said Enders. Wait a minute. Here's the room. 921. It's funny Woodcock doesn't answer. Maybe she forgot the signal. Not her. She's one of the best agents we have. This is strange. I'll try it. No, it's locked all right. Get out your skeleton key. Okay. All right. Here it is. Uh, Miss Woodcock? Oh, Miss Wynn? Say, what's going on here? Hey, somebody's in there, Chief. I hear the shower. Oh, that's why they don't hear me, I guess. Say, Miss Woodcock. Woodcock. Miss Wynn. Open up there, will you? They must be deaf or something, Chief. Open that door, Michael. I don't care who's in there. Hey, jump with Jehoshaphat. She's gone. What? There's nobody here, Chief. The shower's running, but there's nobody here. Turn it off. How in the world did she get out of here? There are windows in the bathroom. That one there faces a court. Yeah, and what happened to Woodcock? I don't know, but I'm... Wait a minute. Here's someone at the door. Be quiet. Chief Powers, what are you doing here? Never mind what I'm doing. Where were you? I, I, I just went down to the lobby to see my brother for a moment. Why, is anything wrong? Where's Miss Wendt? Where is, well, is she gone? Miss Woodcock, tell us the truth. Where is Miss Wendt? For goodness sake, Chief, I, I don't know, I tell you. I wasn't gone more than five minutes. Maybe Riley knows what happened. Did you tell him you were leaving? Of course I did. Get Riley here immediately, Michael. Yes, sir. You know what this means, don't you? I, I can't make it out, Chief Powers. How did she get away? I locked the door when I left. It was locked when I arrived, too. All right, here's Riley, Chief. What's up, Chief? Plenty. What were you doing next door? Sleeping? But, well, what's that? Sleep? I know. I was watching You're this. a great help, Riley, both you and Woodcock. All you have to do is watch a sick woman and what happens. She walks out on you. Right under your nose. What? Well, how in the world Never is mind she... that stuff. Tell me. Did you know Woodcock was leaving? I sure I did. About ten minutes ago to see her brother. Then what happened? Miss Wendt called him in after she could take a shower. Uh, how did she know you were next door watching her? Well, I, I don't know. I figured one of you told her. Well, I've seen dumb agents before, but you take the cake, Riley. 
She asked if she could take a shot. Well, I heard the water running. I figured you... You could... figured you figured you couldn't figure one and one. Come on, Michael, we're going back to the office. You ride in, you Woodcock, get busy and see if you can find out what happened to this went woman. Yes, sir. All right, Chief. Uh, Michael, call the office and have them send someone. Make it Kruger. I want a tail ride in Woodcock. I'm taking no chances. When you're through, come back to headquarters and we'll get to work. I've got an idea. Yes, sir. Young woman about so tall and Chinese looking leave this hotel? Mister, I ain't had a fair since the Chinese built the Great Wall. Did a young Chinese woman come through here? I can't tell you, ma'am. Thousands of chinks passed here. Did you sell any railroad tickets to a young woman? Millions of them. What she looks like and where's she going? I don't know where she's heading, but she's part Chinese. Kind of refined, about five feet two, weighs about 150. No, can't help him, sir. How long have you been in front of this hotel? About half an hour, lady. Did you see a Chinese woman leave that hotel? No, lady, I didn't. I saw some lady chink come out of that hotel. I told him I ain't had a bed. Say, what's the idea running away that way? See that woman? Why not just run away? Yeah, what you ask? I want to know if a Chinese gal came this way. Oh, thanks. Well, I've seen nuts in my day, but I never... Powers. Lee Cunningham, yeah. Hello? Hello, Cunningham. This is Powers. Listen, put this on the air immediately. I want it sent to all planes, particularly those heading east to New York. Here it is. Look for young woman, attractive, height about five feet two, weight about one fifteen. flying, we'll get it before long. What next, Chief? Michael, you remember that postal receipt that you found in Wentz's baggage? That one from Shanghai to a man in Naples named Brandstetter? Hmm. We're going to try to find Maria Wentz through him. I don't get you. Well, if that woman is innocent, the chances are the Brandstetter is only a friend. Mm-hmm. But if Wentz is a member of a smuggling ring, the chances are the Brandstetter is one, too. Oh, I see what you mean now. now. I'm going to try to find out where Brandstetter is. I'm going to get Wentz when she tries to meet him. My guess is she's heading his way now. You're a little optimistic, aren't you? No, 
just determined. Come on. Uh, where to? The wireless room. We're going to take a little trip around the world. Oh, hello, Riley. No luck, Chief. We'd take every cab driver around the hotel, everyone we could find. None of them saw anyone that even looked like the Wendt girl. Yeah, I know. You know. How did you find out, Chief? Finding out is my job, Woodcock. Yours is losing, I guess. Come on, Michael. If anyone wants us, we're in the wireless room. You want us to wait here, Chief? Yes, I may need you. You're sort of rubbing it into Riley and Woodcock, aren't you? Uh, yes, I am. But they deserve it all right. It isn't often we get one of these birds red-handed like this. But when we do, well, we like to keep them a while. That girl must be laughing up her sleeve. I wonder how she got out of that room. Well, that was easy. She just turned on the shower and Riley wasn't able to hear her open the door. Yeah, but, oh, there's the wireless room, Chief. Hello, Chief. Suppose you want to know what we've got on that radio place to airline. Mm, did you hear anything yet? Not yet. Cunningham, I've got something that must go out immediately. Yeah? We found two postal receipts in Mario Wentz's bag for letters sent to a man named... Now, get this down. Yes, sir. Lawful Holtz Brandstetter. Lawful Holtz Brandstetter. Right. Okay. Now, we don't know who this fellow is, but I have a hunch that Wentz may try to contact him. If she does, we'll nab her. And if this man is mixed up in smuggling dope, too... Well, that'll be fine. I understand, Chief. Hey, you forgot to tell them the letters were mailed to Naples, Chief. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. All right, Cunningham, get going. Send a wireless to Naples and try to locate this man. We'll stand by. Yes, sir. Now, let's see. Our office there is... Yeah, yeah it is 437. Naples, 437. Naples, 437. United States Customs calling. Information required... Lawful Holtz Brandstetter, residing Naples. When did he live there, Chief? Uh, the receipts are dated January 1936 and sent to the Palace Hotel. Right. Residing Naples Palace Hotel, January 1936. Reply immediate, please. U.S. Los Angeles 188. U.S. Los Angeles 188. How much longer do you think we'll have to wait, Cunningham? Yeah, not long. Well, I hope they get a line on him. If they do, will you advise a rest? No. I want him tailed until we pick up the trail of Mario Wentz. Then we... Uh, wait, wait. There's the answer. Palace Hotel report Lawful Holt Brandstetter sailed for United States S.S. Helena August 7th. Four days ago. Port of call, New York City. No other information at hand. End. Well, there you are, Chief. Looks like Brandstetter is heading for New York right in your lap. Come on, we're flying to New York. Thanks, Cunningham. Yeah, not at all. And Michael? Yes, sir? Get Riley and Woodcock to come along. Make it snappy. I'll arrange for a plane. I'll pick you up in about ten minutes. You and I are going to board the Helena before she docks. You, Riley, and you, Woodcock, hang around the pier, mingle with the crowd, and look for Wint. Yes, sir. And if you spot her, don't let her take another shower. Gee, Chief, you ain't ever... Yes, sir, I received your message. Uh, right this way, sir. Does he know where... Uh... I don't think so. His uh, cabin is on this deck. All right there, sir, 31. Is he in there now? I believe so, sir. Thank you, Captain. Will you need any help? I don't think so. I think we can handle him all right. All right, sir, I'll go on deck. We're docking in a few minutes. Brian Stutter? Anybody in here? I hear someone, Michael. Draw your gun. I've got it ready. Open this door. Open this door, Bram. Set him and break it down if you don't. Sure, someone's in there. 
Where's the captain? We'll get his key. He went up. Well, then we'll have to break this door in. Come okay. on. Okay. One, two, three. Come on. Let's go. Look out there, Michael. I'm all right, Chief. I didn't Wait a minute. Stay outside. Stay outside, all of you. Well, what do you think? Dead. Stone dead. Shot right through the head. Hmm, I wonder where he shot himself. He'll never tell us. And don't forget, innocent men don't kill themselves this way. Hey, you want me to search this room, Chief? No, not yet. We'll have the door guarded and stand by. It's Flint we want now. She's ducking now, Chief. I wonder if Riley or Woodcock have had any luck. I hope so. I'll bet they do, too. Well, the gang thanks down. Yeah. Hey, Chief. What is it? There. Look. Through that porthole. Well, I don't see... Wait a minute. It's Maria Went there on the pier. You see Riley or Woodcock around? I can't make up. A... The crowd's moving around, so... Come on. Hey, you. Are you the steward? Yes, sir. Stand in front of this door. And don't let anyone enter until we return. Here's my badge, U.S. Customs Department. Come on, Mike. Okay. You behind me, Michael? Hey, keep going, keep going. I'm keeping my eye on her, Chief. Yes, you... She was standing over there, wasn't she? Yeah, follow me right there. What? Oh, for chimney's sake, she's gone, Chief. She was standing right there by that pole. Slipped right through our fingers. That's the second time. She must have seen us come down the gangplank. She slipped away with We could have had her. Hey, Chief, we got a little surprise for you. Here's your friend. Wait. Where'd you find her? Oh, I spotted her the minute you got here. You got anything to say, Miss Wendt? What is there to say? Plenty before we're through with you. Come on. We're going to a nice, quiet place without showers where we can talk. Ah, oh, gee, Chief, ain't you ever going to... This went. Sit down over there. Now tell us, where'd you get that dope? I guess there's no use now. Absolutely none. Innocent women don't escape from custody. You might as well tell us everything, Miss Went. Sure, what's the difference? I'm sick, you know that. The doctors say I won't live another year. I'm sorry you're sick, Miss Went, but you'll have yes, to... Yes, yes, I understand. I'll have to take the consequences just the same. <laughs> well, I don't know how I got away with it as long as I did. You've been smuggling dope for a long time? <laughs> a long time, sure, years. I thought I'd never be caught till I met you. Where'd you get that heroin? In Shanghai. It was stolen from a hospital. Which one? What difference does it make? Which hospital, Miss Went? Pollen Hospital. Got that, Michael? Uh, yeah, right, Chief. Miss Went, how did you escape from that hotel? <laughs> that, that was easy. I turned on the shower, then I phoned a friend in the hotel who came up and opened my door. That was all. Yeah, well, who was your friend? A Chinese woman that I the... met... Did you stop at the desk on your way out? <laughs> sure, for a moment I thought I'd die. You didn't recognize me in those funny clothes, did you? Oh, uh-huh. so, so that that was you, huh? Uh, Miss Went, who stole the narcotics in the Fulham Hospital? I don't know. I received my instructions from someone. Who? Some men. Ramstetter? Yes, how did you know? Hmm. Well, you won't receive any more instructions from him. You, you arrested him? Better than that. He's dead. He's dead? You killed him? No, he shot himself. He... He shot himself. He's dead. I won't ever see him again. Oh, no, you killed him. You killed him. Oh. Hmm. Look at this file, Chief. U.S. versus Mario Wynn. Remember that case? Remember it? How can I ever forget it? You know, Chief, she was lucky to be deported. Lucky? I don't know about that. She won't live another year. What difference does it make where she's buried? Yeah, I guess you're right. Remember how she passed out when you told her Branstead had killed himself? Why not? Didn't she admit later she was going to marry him? Hmm. She certainly was head over heels in love with him. Yeah, but that sure was a big price to pay for love, all right. Yeah, that love affair with a little smuggling on the side cost two lives, maybe a third. Brian Stetter and the superintendent of that Shanghai hospital killed themselves when they knew they were caught. And our shipboard beauty, who almost got away with it, is probably dead by now. Three lives for smuggling dope. <laughs> Gee. Gives me the shivers to even think of it. Uh, like a cold shower, eh, Chief? <laughs> Again, when truth and justice. 
triumph in the name of the law. <laughs>